to jump into the video and let you guys know about something I'm doing over on my Twitter, actually, if you guys want to go over there and check it out. It's a little bit of an Elgato HD60S capture card giveaway. Teamed up with Elgato a couple of months back, and we've been working with each other ever since, but they ended up giving me an HD60S to give away to you guys. So all you have to do is go over to that tweet, check it out, and the ways to enter are there overall. But if you guys are interested in either becoming a content creator, if you already are one and want to elevate your quality, the HD60S and Elgato products are the absolute best, in my opinion, for any capture your card device and software out there so it's definitely a great way to snag one for free if you end up winning but want to let you guys know about that if you want to go check it out once again that link is down there in the description below for you guys to head on over to but that said let's jump right into the regularly scheduled content here this one so last week of course we ended up having the weekly update from sledgehammer over on their community blog but it really wasn't anything all that substantial and as such we didn't actually cover it for specifically that update because there wasn't really all that much to go on pretty much it was just saying that we got the community event we ended up up having some double XP playlists and some other minor things like that so realistically it was all stuff we've talked about before but this week is a little bit different it's a little bit more beefy and a little bit more information put into this update compared to the last week still isn't anything absolutely major compared to say when we had the division overhaul up on the deck but it is still a substantial amount of information that I want to talk to you guys about here at this one so today we're gonna to be recapping everything you need to know about this one from start to finish so let's jump right out here with the first thing that they end up talking about that being the blitz Craig community event in which it is the last week for this so it ends on Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time that being May 8th this upcoming Tuesday so a couple of days from now everything will lock up so make sure you get some play time in this weekend if you have some things that you still are looking forward to such things in those Blitzkrieg collections being the Itra Burst the Sterling the Baseball Bat and the British Tanker as those max collection rewards but also some cool stuff thrown in the mix there as well you end up having I believe some of the camos also in there you end up seeing some weapon charms some calling cards stuff like that if you are interested in it of course those are going to lock up this Tuesday so the nice part that at least comes out of this is the fact that not all the new weapons are locked behind the Blitzkrieg event so you end up having the ability to get the weapons like the M2 like the type 38 those are available in Operation Overlord so those won't lock up but unfortunately again those four main things are going to lock up this Tuesday one thing that is also kind of cool is that we've had opportunities to get Blitzkrieg bribes and as of today actually there is one in the contracts where for 90 kills and 225 armory credits in I believe 50 minutes or something like that you can end up getting a Blitzkrieg bribe as that contract reward in place of what was the war contract the past couple of weeks so that's gonna be one that of course is live until Tuesday but then you also have a special order that went live today in which it is complete 150 multiplayer matches for five Blitzkrieg bribes. Now, that may or may not be worth it to you. That's completely up to you. I couldn't tell you yes or no, but that is a decent way to get a ton of them as well. So that's something that you might not complete in time, but at least you'll have some items you can get still afterwards if you haven't completed them already. So unfortunately, that little crossover might happen. But that said, again, the event does end Tuesday, so make sure you go out and try and get some of that stuff you may be looking for. Now, the next thing up on the list is the actual community challenge because we ended up completing tier three earlier in the week, but we are still a little bit behind schedule as we've talked about a couple of times here in videos already. As it stands right now, we have not completed tier four, which is the special helmet. And so with only a few days left, I'm not sure if we'll be able to complete the full challenge in which we end up getting that Rosy 2 weapon variant for the Grease Gun. Honestly, I'd love to. I think it's an absolutely awesome variant, and I think it'd be awesome even still if we end up getting it regardless, but I don't know if that'll happen, and that's one thing that, again, taking a look at the mathematics for it, off the top of my head, I can't remember the exact number as of recording this that we were sitting at to see just how close we were, but as it stands as of a day or two before, we'd see ourselves about three to four million contract and order completions short of actually hitting that 75 million goal for the overall community challenge. So if you do have some challenges that you have available like in zombies or multiplayer orders and contracts that are either easy to do or available and you have the opportunity to do so definitely try to do them so the community has a little bit more of a fighting chance if you're willing to contribute next up is a quick little mention though of triple double xp on the hq 24 7 playlist that is double weapon xp double soldier xp and double division xp live now in the hq 24 7 playlist only until the end of the blitzkrieg event at 10 a.m pacific standard time on tuesday that is the last hurrah in terms of double 
full XP modes that we've seen through the Blitzkrieg event. Personally, I wish there's a little bit more. I feel like there's a lot of stress on the party up double XP and not necessarily for solo players, which myself, I am one of those, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but that's one thing that not really being the biggest fan of HQ 24-7 and just in personal preference, nothing against it. I wish it was kind of extended over to maybe Ground War. That'd be cool too, but regardless, back on track here. They end up mentioning a little bit about the hotfix and weapon tuning that went live yesterday as well. That being a little bit of an issue that they hotfixed with lag created by level 1000s getting kills in lobbies, but then they also ended up doing a little bit of adjustments to the Itra Burst, the Bar, the BAR, the Gewehr 43, then the P08 1911, and the 9mm SAP SAP, or the Walther P38, as you weapon enthusiasts may actually know it as. So that was something that was pushed through again yesterday. Then we ended up seeing a little bit about the weapon contract that was added in for the Gewehr 43, which again, is available until Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Then it will refresh for whatever it may be. We might end up seeing the Sten, we might end up seeing the Trench Knife, something like that. Because the way that it looks like to me is that we're on a sort of rotation now. We've seen the last couple of weeks Winter Siege weapons, so I might say we complete those weapons from Winter Siege before we jump into anything else, but I could be totally wrong with that one. That's just a hunch that I have, so we'll see in time what it is on Tuesday, the next weapon, but for right now, the Gewehr 43 is available in the Quartermaster with Butcher until Tuesday. Now here's where we start to get into some of the beefy things, because this is stuff that isn't happening already, but things coming up that from here on out, we're going to be discussing within this one. So firstly, we end up seeing that there is a game update that's going to go live next week. Obviously, I think we could have kind of inferred that because we've seen one every single event since Winter Siege. We had one to start it, then we had one to end it, a sort of title update or a smaller patch that really only required a game update and restart for that. But regardless, we've had some sort of update to start and end every single event that we've had thus far. That's just the way that the game goes into these new things and then reverts it back to normal. And so as such, on Tuesday, May 8th, there'll be a game update coming that is going to have a post on Reddit once it's updated and goes live, but there's not going to be a usual list of patch notes. So that's one thing that detailed right off the bat. There's not going to be an official blog post talking about the patch or anything like that, but it is an update for the image uploads on the UI front, upcoming orders and contracts, headquarter map optimizations, leaderboard filtering, and theater performance issues, as well as some promotional updates. So there's not anything here that seemingly is massive in the sense that we'll see a major game game breaking change, but seems like some of the once again UI things, there were some issues with how weapons, emblems, different in-game images that would come up either on the UI or the HUD at some point in time, those wouldn't display properly, so those are going to be fixed out. Upcoming orders and contracts, again, those are going to refresh within the Quartermaster and probably move away from those game mode specific ones for a little bit. Hopefully they're still cheaper than what we see a little bit now. Broke my heart a little bit going in and spending about 1500 to 2000 armory credits every single day to complete every one of those. But that's just me. And then the other things that were mentioned, of course, that is pretty self-explanatory. So that's something that will be coming on Tuesday. Then a little bit further, they asked if level 1000s would reach out and provide any feedback on the fix that they pushed out for level 1000 lag within games. Again, that was something that was fixed with this most recent hotfix, but to accurately monitor it and to see just how well that fix they deployed works. And if they need to do a phase two, they're looking for some feedback from community members that are level 1000. So that's something that they have a dedicated thread over on Reddit. I can leave the link down there in the description below if you guys are interested in that to leave your info videos comments whatever it may be about the experience after that so they can know whether or not they need to push out phase two of the fix or if they already got it perhaps the biggest thing to me though out of this and the second to last thing we'll discuss in this video is requisitions because for a long long time the community has been asking for some sort of change they've been asking for a little bit of some transparency or clarity on why requisitions is the way it is personally i know that it is a great way for players that may not be as skill to get those streaks and experience that a little bit more. But personally, I think it should be something that is very similar to the Modern Warfare 3 support package, where you have a lot of those non-lethal streaks. Maybe you throw in one of the bombers because that was something that, wow, I still don't really agree to this day. A bomber should have been in that package in Modern Warfare 3. It was there. So maybe you give them a bomber, but regardless, I always thought requisitions could have used a little bit of an adjustment to which verbatim, they said, we've heard your feedback and agree that this is worth exploring. We are looking into ways to rework requisitions that make sense and is more conducive to a better gameplay experience, especially since the most recent division overhaul that we implemented. 
So right now there's no real clarity on to what these changes will be, but it's something that they're open to some dialogue. They're going to take a look at ways they can adjust it. And so for that, I think that it really comes down to the community now because they are very much so looking for feedback and it is something we can accurately give them our voices on. And it's something that we can also make those voices heard. So I'm very much so pleased with the even mention of this, that it will be something looked into and potentially changed because honestly, I die so many times off streaks to requisitions players. And so for that, just the idea of being able to move a little bit past that, I'm ecstatic. But we'll see where it goes in time. And the final thing that I want to talk to you guys about today actually comes in a sense of the dupe protected special order weapon bribe issues, as well as other bribes that we've seen that were supposed to be dupe protected that were not. So that was something that a lot of people ended up having these issues the past couple of weeks with different bribes. And they said, we apologize for the confusion here, everyone. If you were affected by this, see Activision Assist's recent Reddit post on the issue and resolution. So that said, to recap that post, they ended up saying they found out why it is and moving forward, there's not going to be an issue with bribes that are dupe protected, giving duplicate items. That's something that won't happen anymore. But if you were affected by it, they're working on a sort of remedy to the people that already either bought them or earned them organically and giving back in a sense that they can get what they ended up either buying or earning in a capacity again, so they don't have to miss out. So I definitely think that it's nice now that it is fixed out and moving forward that it won't be an issue. I hope that those things get resolved for the people that ended up already having those problems with it in the first place. I hope that gets fixed up quickly and so people can get their items they definitely deserve. But that said, that is going to conclude this week's community update for Call of Duty World War II. Again, a little bit beefier than that of last week's, maybe not necessarily again as big as the Division Overhaul one because that was a complete change of the fundamentals of the game, but this has some stuff we can look forward to and I'm really excited about that. So that said, let me get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you think of this requisition change and this game update coming on Tuesday? Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to out of either of those topics of discussion or is there anything you don't necessarily like whatever it may be feel free to let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below but hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you found this insightful and if you guys did make sure you drop a like down below if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding call of duty world war 2 anything regarding updates news tips tricks information all that good stuff we got you covered here up on the channel so if any of it interests you make sure that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing and if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that link is down there in the description below it's the best way to get connected to me outside of youtube I practically live on twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And also, that little giveaway is going on over there too, so if you want to check that out, be sure to follow that link. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram as well, trying to get more active over there, so that link is as well in the description below. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Might as well espresso. Take care, and peace.